Hey there, guys. This is Joffrey. Who's Lawn Care? How's it going? Hey, uh, I got a little footage here. Finished up a mulch job at my own house. I was last Saturday, and it was still pretty muggy and warm. Um, but man, this week has been awesome as far as the weather goes. Cooler temperatures in the lower 80s, but the humidity has been down, and so is the dew point. Um, makes for such better work, and I'm not near as tired at the end of the day. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this footage. Got a little footage of me uh, doing the mulch and then doing some mowing. And then you ever set up the, your GoPro or your camera and you're thinking, oh, this will make some great footage right here. And then, uh, uh, well, something happened. I was like, Duh, I didn't expect that to happen. But uh, anyway, and I got rained on a little bit. And, uh, it's just been, uh, wet and green. Stuff's growing pretty good. We also got still some dollar spot going on, though, in these yards. But, uh, all in all, things are looking good. It's been a busy July, um, for, uh, for what it's worth. I mean, usually in July, we're not mowing like this, but it's been good. So, I can't complain. All right, guys, sit back and enjoy the video. Remember, like and subscribe, uh, comment below if you got any questions or anything. Hey there guys, this is Joffrey with Juice Lawn Care. Hey, I'm working here at my own house today, doing a little bit of mulch. Kind of see here, doing my own beds. This boxwood here in the middle, I really cut that back way too far. The other day it was way bigger i wanted to get the same size as the other ones i think it'll be all right it'll come out of it it just really stunned it a little bit um there's some other stuff over here and this rose of sharon bush same way it was really tall there was a bunch of dead in it so i cut it out and then it all kind of just fell over so i ended up cutting it way back and uh that's hard on stuff this time of year but we'll see how it goes trimmed up that uh burning bush there and i got to clean up all that but here's the mulch around here all our hostas over here i gotta clean up a little better got mulch over the leaves still and uh re-edged along this tree here made that look a little bit better and uh, more stuff and now I'm over into here finally and I got to do all this so got to clean this all up this gets bad shape from the pool being drained sometimes the kids splash water and the mulch runs out but uh, here's where I stopped the other day So anyway, I got my work cut out for me, but I'm about done with it. And I hope things are going well for you guys. It's hot out here, that's for sure. Have a good one. Alright, so here I am. It's uh, Thursday, July 19th, 2018. And uh, first property of the day. Gorgeous morning. I'm going to be uh, firing up this commercial 30 here. This is actually a church and I mow that and you guys have probably seen some footage here before um, this is a place where I need to go through the landscape a little bit and do some clean up in there and need some more mulch but uh, you can kind of see the grass is pretty long um, very thick yard this is actually uh, south facing it's a lot of sun but uh, I've uh, you know done some aerations over the years and and uh, some fertilizing and uh, mow it really long and it stayed pretty thick and healthy um, also overseeded it the last uh, not last few years but over the last few years you know from time to time not every year but uh, within the last 10 years I've done it probably four or five times I bet and uh, just put some new variety of grass in there and more drought tolerant stuff and get it a little bit thicker but uh Anyway, um, there's kind of tricky to mow with the bigger mower just because the way it's uh, 
shaped out there. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a hill there. And it's just, uh, there used to be some steps in there and stuff, and they put new sidewalks in. And uh, it just, the contour of the ground is just not the greatest. But anyway, um, so pretty much have to mow with the 30 inch. And so uh, that's what I do. And um, I don't know, listen here for a second. For some reason, the mower is making like a ticking noise, almost sounds like. I don't know if the blade was rubbing on something in there. Sometimes when it gets uh, deck full a little bit, it makes that noise. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Um, I've actually just recently worked on this mower, and I guess I should have got some footage of that. Maybe sometime I'll find the blades, but this was a uh, mower I had trouble with. The uh, timing bell broke, and the blades smashed into each other and just mutilated them up. And uh, I put it back together. It seems like everything's running fine, but now I notice that uh, tick noise. But I just noticed that uh, today it hasn't happened any other time. And uh, so I don't know what in the world that is, but I think... Uh, Sometimes when there's a uh, little bit of grass build up in there, it does that. But uh, anyway, just back and forth with the mower. Down and back, down and back, and just work it out. But uh, like I said, man, it's uh, crazy how much uh, when the temperatures are nice and the dew point is not super high and it's not super humid, that you can just work and just feel comfortable and not even sweating. Uh, very much. Actually, the other day, I had to uh, walk a little bit faster and move a little bit quicker to make myself sweat. I know this sounds crazy, but I wanted to sweat a little bit because I wasn't sweating because uh, I was just walking at normal speed. You know, if I would have been walking at that speed a week ago, I'd have been sweating like mad. But I wanted to cool my body off. You know, sweat helps cool you down. So anyway, I picked up my speed and I was moving a lot quicker than I normally do or than I have been doing to kind of make my body sweat to cool myself. I know that sounds kind of weird, but uh, sometimes that's what you got to do when you're so used to the heat. Um, tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be like 78 or something like that, and that's going to be chilly probably in the mornings. I'll probably have to wear a jacket because I'm not used to it. But anyway, um, it's such a nice, uh, just to feel the cooler temperatures. I mean, that will probably get spoiled and then it'll get hot again. And, be thinking, uh, gee, this uh, feels awful again, but no, it, it, we needed it. We needed to have a break from that heat. I mean, uh, it just drains you over and over and over, but uh, anyway, uh, this was just some footage of me mowing here, and I got her done. Now, uh, in this one, this is uh, a yard kind of close uh, to the park, and um, I'm just going to lay some stripes here with the uh, Vantage. And uh, anyway, I don't know if you can see right in the oh, kind of left hand side um, between where I'm at right about now and that tree. See how it's kind of like yellowish in there almost? Hey, okay, that's yard had some dollar spot in it. And uh, I just said in a previous video that is from um, low soil moisture and uh, high humidity. And low fertility and uh, I think stuff's starting to look a little bit better now it actually you can notice it more because of the fact the grass is greened up from the rain but uh, them tips are still kind of yellowish and they just don't look all that great so uh, it stands out a little bit so hopefully you guys can see it I thought the GoPro would have it up a little higher than what it is it's not high enough um, that the yard does slope down but you can't really tell from this footage here but uh, anyway, these are uh, just back and forth, back and forth, making some nice uh, stripes along the way. And uh, I'll try to include a picture of it here in just a second. And maybe you'll be able to see uh, once what the yard looked like. But it turns out pretty good. It's a, it's a nice property, uh, big and open. And uh, it just uh, it stripes up pretty well. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy those stripes. I don't know why I, uh, I left taking a picture of the stripes that the mower makes. Um, it's just kind of something I love. Comment below if you guys like stripes or if you more or less just uh, 
get the yard mowed. I know some of you are in areas where you have warm season grass and you don't really get stripes, but uh, do you guys try to stripe or do you just uh, pretty much just mow whatever the fastest way possible? If I'm on a nice yard and uh, I can make some decent stripes, I try to usually. But uh, I'll show here a picture in just a minute of what that looks like. So uh, anyway, hope you guys uh, are enjoying this channel. Um, coming up here in just a second is something I didn't think would happen. Um, I got a video clip. I got the, or I got the camera set up and I'm ready. I'm thinking this is going to make some good footage. You're going to see some nice stripes. And then sure enough, uh, something I didn't even think about happens. And I turn around and I'm mowing and all of a sudden it's like, uh, bloop. Yeah, I never even thought of that. But anyway, that footage is coming up here in just a second. And then hopefully you guys will enjoy these uh, pictures here of the stripes. All right, so here I am. I got the camera set up right here in a good spot. You're gonna be able to see this yard. It's a nice, thick, green, lush yard. I'll make some stripes here. I'm gonna go down on the inside of the boulevard with this yard, shoot down, and then I'll turn around here and I'll flip it open, let it fly, and that way I'm not shooting anything in the street, but on the sidewalk. But I'll clean that in a second. And uh, so. I get lined up here in a second for my pass. There's just two passes back and forth there in the boulevard. And uh, I'll come up around the side here. And anyway, you can see uh, this yard uh, is nice and thick, nice and green. It's uh, one I've been doing for, I don't know, close to probably, let's see. Um, probably since about 2012 um, so yeah about six years or so but anyway um, you know I've taken care of it and it's filled in nicely and it's uh, used to have a big tree right up front there but uh, it had the emerald ash borer and so it was cut down and so it gets a lot of sun but it's uh, stayed healthy over the years and anyway you're about to see some nice stripe action here oh wait a minute um, Oh, hey, yeah, uh, actually, um, you're about to see some footage of an F-150, yep, uh, you know, oh, no, he's gonna leave, oh, no, he's gonna back up, um, is he gonna park there, uh, no, he's gonna leave, oh, no, um, okay, and there he stops, uh, and I'm kind of like, what the world? All right, well, that was the end of that footage. Hey guys. Anyway, Shop here's here. the rest of the footage. It's got rained out. You can see it or not. I'm sure you can hear it. It's coming down now. So I guess we're going to stop for a little while. And just relax. Go home, I guess. Or what I'm supposed to do. Hey, when it does this, it's not going to last real long. But everything is soaked. Soaked to the bone. Yep. Alright. 